Hey YouTube, uh, Inktronics here, Ivan, back with another pen. Uh, not really a review, just a real quick look. Or not real quick, let's see how long this takes. I'm doing this live. Uh, some may already recognize what pen this is. It is a Omos 360. Uh, this is the modern uh, Omos 360 cartridge converter filler. Um, it's a pen, very unique shape to it. Some people like it, some people don't. It's very a uh, very polarizing shape. Uh, if you know the Lamy Safari, uh, you know this shape. I forgot there's a, name, a specific name for it, but I, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but the pen is just gorgeous. This blue uh, cotton resin... Uh, is just really I, the camera doesn't do it justice here it has some really nice depth to it and um, this is the rose gold version it's a little dirty right here I got some fingerprints on there but uh, you can see the cap band there has a nice Greek key design and then there's a another band towards the bottom here uh, out of focus let's try and get that back in focus there we go and this is once again rose gold we got the omos logo at the top there clip is springy enough uh it's somewhat tight kind of hard to get my finger in there it'll grab onto a shirt pocket really well uh don't advise putting this in like a jean pocket or anything thicker than what would be a shirt pocket and because this clip might uh, this little end right there I don't think it could stand a lot of pressure but it's a slip cap so pull that out very satisfying clip there or click I should say very very satisfying and then we have the nib and another Greek key uh, rose gold band and this I don't know if that's going to come into focus or not let's get this out of the out of the frame here there we go and this is what is it an extra fine or fine I can't see it I can't read it I can't remember maybe you can pick it up there I can't read it but and then we have an ebonite feed again these are you know kind of Omos's thing ebonite feeds in all our pens and then this because of the shape here the barrel is not threaded um, a little bit the first time I got this pen I, I was a little bit uh, to be honest with you I, think I probably put too much pressure on it but uh, luckily I didn't cause any damage but the, this has what I would call a bayonet style um, I don't know what you want to call it a bayonet style uh, barrel locking mechanism uh, so you basically twist until it doesn't twist any further it's about a quarter turn and then pull out and you can see the little lock twist locks I guess they would be and there's little you can kind of see them right in there let me see if I can get it to focus but there's these little nib or nubs or um, little pieces that fit right in there they slide right in that little deal and then you just twist so uh, yeah, threading would, would be very difficult to get this to align. Um, not impossible, but very difficult and would increase the cost of the pen probably quite a bit. So again, cartridge converter. Pull that out. And we've got a regular converter. Obviously no ink in it right now. And um, again, but this thing is just amazing. I really like this pen and but unfortunately I might have to let it go uh, but the the trim on this again rose gold the camera is making it look yellow gold 
but it is rose gold I don't know I don't have anything else to compare it with but this thing is really cool looking uh, very lightweight too uh, this pen fits in my hand really well let me see if I can get that better fits in the hand very nice and because I use a tripod grip it is just perfect for me the the uh, the tripod grip, grip for those who don't know it's basically how you hold a pen you basically have three fingers like that kind of like a tripod and that is how you hold a pen some people argue that that's you know that's not the way that you're supposed to hold a pen uh, that's what I've read in other in actual literature uh, not forum posts or anything like that actual literature from the early 1900s this is a proper way to hold a pen and I'm probably even holding it a little bit wrong because uh, you need to extend there's not supposed to be any any strain on your fingers once you learn this grip well I did not have this grip this was not natural to me once I learned this grip all my writing cramps all that went away my death grip that went away once I learned this grip so I highly recommend you learn this grip and this is not a video about the grip it's about the pen and once again it's the Omos 360 this is the modern cartridge converter fill in blue cotton resin with a rose gold trim thanks for watching